uh, love from love, hope from hope, and peace from peace. Welcome to Chrislam, uh, a, a, a new faith that is already well-rooted in this world. This is Beulah, the church, the first Chrislamic congregation. Uh, and praise the Lord that Chrislam is only the name of Israel that they have received in the latter days, as it is written in Jeremiah 31.1. And uh, it is foretold that they would get that new name in Isaiah 62, 2. And uh, the faith of Islam, the only doctrine is this. The Lord God is giving his kingdom age covenant to one and all because it was addressed correctly to Israel and all mankind. And that's why Israel has inherited all mankind, Isaiah 54, 3. It says so that that would happen. And so praise the Lord that uh, Chrislam is just a name because uh, it's their kingdom age name once they get their covenant of Jeremiah 31. And the only doctrine of Chrislam is this, as it is written exactly, the Lord God says unto all people of love with their faith alive as little children, not people who are walking dead who let their love just become a noun having a form of godliness but denying the power of love the lord god says to all people who will commit not the blasphemy of the holy spirit because there is all sin shall be forgiven mankind jesus said except unforgivable sin uh, so he says to one and all i shall be your god you shall be my people I shall forgive your iniquity, and I shall never remember it. I shall write my law and my love upon your hearts, and beyond that no one shall ever need to be taught about me anymore, for all shall know me, from the least to the greatest. And that is why it is written in First uh, John 4, 7, that those who love are born of God and know God, because God is love. If you walk with the spirit of love, with your love light on in action, like a little child moving as a verb, you are born again. And that applies to everyone, no matter what they believe. Um, if someone is a, an atheist who believes not in God, by the letter of God's own word, that atheist would be born again by love with them. It has never been to believe anything. It has always been love alone that qualifies people for the sainthood of love. So praise the Lord and look unto he who is our roaring lion of Zion, who is calling out louder than ever before all of our names, as if we were the only one. Whether you believe anything or not is irrelevant. Is your love light on? Because that is what matters. Love is transcendent. Love always wins. Uh, be not as a, a clanging symbol, empty and desolate no more. Put our desolate heritages of Isaiah 49, 8 behind us. Move towards the kingdom age peace as the kingdom age arises with our Lord Jesus Christ Almighty being the son of love of Isaiah 60 arising in righteousness and with love uh, to destroy all gross darkness that has been behind us. And praise the Lord that Eden is ahead of us. Another Eden will be this world will be like as the prophet Joel foretold.